We found that if you had a long sleep duration and you didn't have a high school degree, you had a six-fold increase in the risk of developing dementia within 10 years. So we observed that persons who slept for more than nine hours each night had double the risk of developing dementia within 10 years as compared to persons who slept for nine hours or less each night. We found that those who slept for a short period of time did not have an increased risk of dementia. Uh, we also looked at sleep in the past and we found that those who consistently slept for more than nine hours didn't have an increased risk of dementia. But those who transitioned from being normal sleepers to long sleepers were the ones that displayed an increased risk of developing dementia within 10 years. So as you develop dementia, the brain changes. And there are changes to the brain that occur before we diagnose dementia. And it appears that sleep might be affected early on in the process. I think the, the finding where those who had low education and slept for a long time had an increased risk of dementia, that was somewhat surprising to me. I didn't expect to see that because it was a very large effect. It was a sort of 600% increase in the risk of dementia. People who are highly educated seem to be able to compensate for early dementia because they have more sort of thinking and skills and uh, better memory performance uh, as compared to those who don't have high education. Uh, if you think about you know, having a high education youth uh, come up with a lot of skills to deal with uh, different life stresses and events and you become better adapted to uh, dealing with uh, the environment. Uh, we're digging deeper into the data to see if there are any specific aspects of sleep which are associated with the risk of dementia. So for example looking at uh, changes in REM sleep or slow wave sleep, so the specific aspects of sleep and how they relate to dementia.